Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring. Last time, we finally spent some time in the Altus Plateau, which has resulted in a few changes around here. Oh, I have been waiting for your return. I've decided to leave the Round Table Hold. I'm off in search of a noble scholar known as the Gold Mask to beg his instruction. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. May the Golden Order shine through you. This will result in Corin leaving Roundtable Hold to go off to Altus Plateau in search of, no, uh, of Gold Mask. And also, this is something that we haven't done before. We haven't jumped this balcony, watched that symbol for Sanctuary disappear on the left, because this is one place in Roundtable Hold where we can actually fight, and we will be invaded by Mad Tongue Alberic. Oh my god, he stands no chance. This is bullying. I didn't expect that to be so one-sided. Taunter's Tongue. Now, since we did actually rest at an Altus Plateau site of grace, that has triggered something else new in Round Table Hold. And it's something that Roderica has picked up on. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the grafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. I can hear it from the howl. You should keep... She's more disgusted by whatever this is than she was Godric. And if we come to this wing, indeed, that door is finally opened up. And behind it, the loathsome Dung Eater! They don't call him the beloved Dung Eater. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being, the pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all, the reviled blessing. <sighs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb, a stranger to defilement, ignorant of your own ignorance. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. I asked you not to disturb me. Be thankful of the whole serenity. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. I asked you not to disturb me. Be thankful of the He doesn't have much to say to us yet. That'll change, and we will be back here. Uh, for now, we're going back to somewhere else which is just south of the Bellum Highway. The road outside of Raya Lucaria leading to the Grand Lift of Dectus, because it's where we're going to get into those ruins that lead to the alternate entrance Bok to Altus Plateau. And on the way, we can see Bach! Master, my apologies. Your wardrobe includes the garb of the old demigods, and... I'm afraid I can't make adjustments to them. <laughs> My mum told me once that a royal seamster would do them up in a jiffy. Just wait, master. Before long, I'll be that good too. Is that a gift for my undeserving self? Thank you kindly. But what on earth could it... Oh, amazing! 
I've never seen a golden needle. Not in all my life. With a spectacular royal crest to boot, are you certain that this is for me? Oh, I can hardly believe it. Have faith in me, Master. I'll polish my craft enough that I deserve this golden gift. I'll be the golden seamster, Bok. Now I'll be able to sew anything. Even the threads of the demigods. Do you think that Mum would be pleased if she knew that I'm as good as any royal seamster now? Oh, it's still not enough. I need to learn how to sew from scratch like her. Oh, going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. Bok the scene ready to make a... This leg of his quest only starts once you have the golden sewing needle and a legendary piece of equipment that can be altered uh, only with said needle. Legendary armor is pretty much any of the boss armors you can get from Enya in the hold. Uh, and possibly a select few others, I'm not sure about those. The trick is that the armor, again, has to actually be capable of being altered, which is not true of every piece of boss armor. Uh, it's why you can't just use Godric's or Renala's attire to continue the quest. But Radon's chest piece can be altered. You can remove the cape. Uh, and that's what triggered it for Bok, because I picked that up. Now we are going to continue this lower route, uh, where the Bellum Highway forks, and we're going to go into the ravine. Because the ravine is going to lead to the ruins that I believe... Uh, Raya. I think Raya was the one who mentioned that there was the uh, the alternate way into Baltus Plateau. So if you are doing your playthrough and you don't feel like going through the trouble of collecting both halves of the Dectus Medallion, uh, there is a more straightforward way to get to the next zone. take us back into the lake and to a sapling where we will get another golden seed. And that should be it up ahead. Uh, it's a long vertical climb with a couple of, of stop-offs on the way. I thought I heard you. When I get a chance, when I'm safe, I'll turn the lantern on. I think I have a bunch of bats at my back. Yeah, it's gonna be a running theme. Lots of bats. Let's just deal with these first. Oof. Oh, the range. The range in my depth perception. But mainly the, the range. Pretty sure I've swung daggers with longer range. Uh, so one more of you. Jeez. Yeah, now we can do our snake cosplay. What a thrill. With darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. I'm searching and I'll melt into you. What a fear in my heart. And there's no way I can belt out than even singing off key. To be closer to my range, I can't belt that hard out. <laughs> oh, in this new Ash of War that I put on the anchor, Crag Blade, it's what Radon does in his second phase with his with his great swords, where he coats them in rock, and then just starts swinging even harder. 
also significantly increases the poise damage that it does. Poison traps, by like, this point in the game, do not really matter all that much. Poison in general is just not scary if you pass the vigor check. Get some health regeneration going through bestial vitality. Offset any chip we take through poison, through small stray hits here and there. And now once again, up, up, up we go. So quite, quite a bit of climbing to do before we reach Altus Plateau. Remember how high the lift detectors takes us. We have to do all that manually now. There's a reason they installed that big-ass elevator. And yet, in the old ruins, there are still people here excavating. So not really entirely forgotten about. And if that item looks like a trap, it's because it is. This is a two prong trap. <laughs> you also have the vulgar militia who comes in behind you after the smoke bomb gets dropped. Oh, we also got a couple more filtering in from the main entrance. Short range or not, this thing annihilates them. Oh no, the poison is back! Oh, and Vitality is still running from before, so this is perfect. Another one of these that explodes! They use that trap sparingly, and because they use it so sparingly, it tends to be pretty effective. It's easy to forget about. Hey, that's the entrance to the Grand Lift down there. So we get a reference point for about how high we've climbed and how much further we have to go. At least it's not all stairs and ladders. Give my poor calves a break. With a few short elevators here and there. I hear another. Bats, of course. There's a reason we're seeing so many bats. This is literally back country. Getting a better feel for the range finally. And then once we head up here, we actually will hear something pretty interesting. Take a couple hops. Somber three. Threes and fours is about what we're working with around here. Oops. Actually, I think that's perfectly fine. Oh, and this is not somber. Okay.
There you go. You can start to hear it now. It'll become clearer the closer we get. We've encountered these chained singing bats a few times now, but we've never really stopped to listen to this song that closely. Yeah, we have a whole concert now. <laughs> Those particular bats sing a, sing an elegy called the Song of Lament. Most of the words in the in the choral parts of Elden Ring's music are just gibberish and not actually Latin or any other actual language. The Song of Lament, however, is an exception. On uh, YouTuber Antonius Tertius, I think, was the initial person to document and translate the lyrics. Uh, she talks about the lands between and what became of her and her people. Uh, she says the land once blessed uh, has diminished, that the bats were destined to become mothers but instead became tarnished when they were abandoned by grace. They shed tears but there was nobody who would console them. They were treated like cruelty. And then it ends with a question. Golden one, at whom were you angry? Golden one probably being either the greater will itself or America as its envoy. So it seems like they're immediately hostile to you by reflex, because compounding the hardship they faced, they were treated pretty miserably. And we've now gotten very familiar with how outcasts from the Golden Order are treated in the lands between. Hopefully we can deal with this quickly. Oh good. Yeah, if you hit them right in the beaks, tends to stop. Punching a shark in the nose. Do not attempt to fight giant squids this way in real life. I do not know if the tactic of punching them in the beak is effective. And again, if you are at a depth where you could be fighting uh, a colossal squid, the pressure of the deep sea is probably crushing your bones into a fine, fine powder. Let's check out that very interesting sword that we just got. The Serpent God's Curved Sword. A curved sword fashioned in the image of an ancient serpent deity and a tool of a forgotten religion practiced on Mount Gelmir. Formerly used to offer up sacrifices, this sword restores HP upon slaying an enemy. I love the shape of that one. And we will be visiting Mount Gelmir for a little bit after we're done with this ascent. Also, note how their feet are chained together, the big ones. Actually, it looks more like they were chained together. Oh, yeah, these ones have Ranker Call. Uh-oh. And 
Oh, you can throw these? I didn't know about that. Don't throw your magic missiles in a jar at me. One of my least favorite attacks. It's the, the Doom Marvel 3 hidden missiles dilemma. Where you get these delayed projectiles that cover your approach. And with that, we're just about at the top. Up ahead, the color of the light reflecting off the wall is telling us that there is a golden fog gate. But where boss? The boss was hiding behind the column, and it is a another magma worm. Oh, you're gonna do it twice in a row? That's really annoying, and it pushed me into the fire. That's fine, though. Spin? No. Good. Now, oh, you didn't even get a chance to. One, two, three. And another unique sword. Oh, but I have turned myself around. Which way did I come in and which way am I going? <laughs> Curved greatsword wielded by magma worms. The shape resembles a dragon's jaw and is covered in hard scales. It said the land bounded... It said these landbound dragons were once human heroes who partook in dragon communion, a grave transgression for which they were cursed to crawl the earth upon their bellies, shadows of their former selves. So is this what will become of us if we eat too many dragon hearts? That sort of is a running thing in these games, is how hideous the transformation from human into a dragon can be. Person striving to, to transform and transcend themselves, but ending up hideously disfigured instead. maimed by their pursuit. And now, one more elevator, and we are once again back in Altus Plateau. Now, I believe there's even another Sight of Grace. We have like three of them in a row. Half as long as the Dectus elevator. And now that we have reached Altus Plateau again, now is the perfect time to start exploring Mount Gelmir. <laughs> And since we've already been to the Volcano Manor there, we can also get a better lay of the land there and start talking to everyone that we didn't meet before. Brave Tarnished. Welcome to the Volcano Manor. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. Raya spoke well of you, a warrior of promise, I believe she said. 
Perhaps you are prepared to make a commitment. Will you join us here at the Volcano Manor? And resist the tide? Why accept the burden of their grace? Or be fooled by the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? Rise with us. Against the Erd Tree. Do you provide dental? Yeah? Okay, I'm in. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable, but be sure to earn your keep. The drawing room is through the hall. Use the key I handed you, and make yourself comfortable. Sweet, we have the key to the dentist. No more paying $2,000 for a root canal for me. Jesus Christ. in the drawing room in the back right corner there is an illusory wall which is the threshold between the sanctuary part of Volcano Manor where you can't attack anything and the actual dungeon part of the manor But we're not going to be spending any real time here just yet. Just showing you that it's here. We still have to visit the break room, which is the perfect place to chat with all my new co-workers about the benefits of forming a union. Sure, we have dental, but we could have so much more. Let's go meet everyone. Who are the other recusants? Who else has joined Lady Tanith in the manor? Sometimes there's a ghost here and I don't know what actually triggers him to show up. I'm sure we'll see him eventually though. He's very obsessed with snakes. Hey, it's Dialos of House Hoslo, whose tale is told in blood. Of course. Hello again, brave tarnished. As a scout, I am pleased to see you again here at the Volcano Manor under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Brave tarnished under Lady Tanith. In him, you may not immediately recognize. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying, you have harbored doubts from the very beginning. Perhaps this day was always lurking on the horizon. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. This blasphemous path leads up before you can. This is Bernal, from the shack in Stormhill. Oh, I've... It's, it's you, is it? Well, nice to see you again. So you've been invited as well, I see. Then we're comrades in arms, henceforth. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Yes? I... Um, I can tell. You're wondering about Lanya. Well, you see, I... After much internal debate, I've come to realize revenge is not the answer. According to Lady Tanith, I've got the stuff of champions. And champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue, that my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of course, my heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? Lanya knows this, I'm certain. Fate has laid hard roads for us both. But such is true of any road trod by champions. I always resented these hands. Their pale complexion. A far cry from any warriors. The shame of House Hoslo. But that won't be the case for long. 
They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. I always resented the pale complexion. This is where Dialos becomes one of my favorite characters. I love his story arc. He gets a little praise, like a little sweet talking from the people who killed his beloved companion, and immediately abandons his principles. Furled fingers covered in snake scales and heirloom of the Lord of the Volcano Manor, bequeathed to the tarnished who have become family. And then this letter is an invitation to assassinate, assassinate Old Knight Istvan, who can be found in Limgrave. And it gives us a red mark for where he is to be found. Let's go talk to Tanith real quick and then get back to Dialos. <laughs> Did you read the letter left for you? That is the task the Volcano Manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. But you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek, nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. The letter describes the task the Volcano You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. So we're off to do a murder for Tanith. Much like Dialos, we were sweet talked into it. I just love it. Tanith tells him what a special boy he is. And he's just like, he loses all of his drive for revenge to avenge this person that he claims to care so much about. And immediately starts rationalizing why this isn't like completely pathetic of him why it's actually quite heroic. But then you go a layer deeper into who he is as a person and he's clearly filled with this deep sense of self-loathing over what he isn't, which is a fighter, which is a champion, someone who lives up to this very edgy motto of his house. I thought this a mountain of fire, but I hardly feel a thing. I'll have to head further down. So yeah, Alexander is here too, who is much more of the ideal of what Hoslo, uh, of what Dialos wishes he was. And that's kind of why he's able to be so easily manipulated. He has such a deep self-loathing for who he is that anyone who's like, yeah, you can be, you can actually be great. You just have to uh, give up on your, your petty vengeance and Instead, follow us. I see great potential in you, Dialos. You're special. He's vulner He's emotionally vulnerable, especially after losing Lanya. He's great. I, I love it so much. Like, he's so deeply flawed in such an interesting way. Oh, and he got more hands. Oh, boy. Let's take a hands-off approach to these, and get ourselves the map of Mount Gelmir. Uh, I want to talk to that ghost, so this big hand gotta go. Blood flame, blood flame. I'm betting you don't like these trees being here. Betting they kind of mess your pathfinding up a little bit. Whew. I'm happy I discovered that weakness to fire. Lord Rikard. Dot 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 dot. If this putrid field of death is what your blasphemy would bring, then I can no longer abide. No one can. It's that nuance to Dialos. That that inner conflict makes him really interesting. Beep. 
it's also very relatable. Like, who doesn't hold themselves to too high a standard, to an unrealistic one? Who hasn't spent any time resenting what they aren't capable of? And honestly, who wouldn't be vulnerable to being manipulated like that? To have somebody prey on their on their specific insecurities in that way. Like it makes them seem extremely weak-willed that this happens so quickly. But that just kind of tells you where his heart is, and where his heart isn't. Uh, I think before we go down that bridge, this is, this er, this minor ur tree is also in terrible shape. Not quite as rotten as the one we found in Altus Plateau, but no less dying. And not protect not protected by an avatar, but by an ulcerated tree spirit. Let's see how we do against these on horseback. These are pretty fun to fight uh, when you have this kind of freedom uh, of movement and this speed behind you. Oh, and when at when when Torrent will absorb so many hits for you. I think these are way more fun to fight on horseback, or at the very least, more op more fun to fight in open fields like this. 90% of the time you run into a tree spirit, it's in a in a room the size of a phone booth. I want to get around to this this lower road that kind of encircles the volcano manor. There is a very interesting NPC which will uh, help us continue another character's quest at the end of it. And then coming up here is oh, is that what I think it is? Is it my favorite shaft? The illustrious corpse tench shack? I think it is. I think it, yeah. And Anastasia once again invade. Oh my. I didn't beat her to the, to, uh, to the shack. Oh good. Yeah, the illustrious corpse tench shack. Named for its pleasant aroma. Huge carving knife made to cleanly butcher the human body. Signature weapon of the ogress Anastasia, known to have eaten countless tarnished while disguised as a finger maiden. Restores a very small amount of HP when it is when it squarely strikes an enemy. Isn't it just lovely around here? Corpses hanging off of everything like party streamers. Never gonna head back to the Abductor Virgin site of Grace because it puts us uh, between Mount Gelmir and Altus Plateau at a place called Stillwater. And in the Stillwater ruins, there is another Tibia Mariner to fight. See all that open space of shallow water. And then in the ravine, we can actually continue encircling the manor. The Beside Quivers. I'll never get tired of the Mariners. This one is even slightly different because... This one is not playing around with his assists. Let's 
this one has a whole ass beam assist. Oh, 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 oh. Not worth it. Especially not to aggro them. Oh, that's where he went. So I have to be very careful about the giant skeleton. Gosh, Adokura. <laughs> Okay. No more freebies. Just those things hit hard. Jesus. Come on. Okay. Oh. Not calling his friend back. Kind of ghosting him. All right. Well, we do not like third wheels, so this works out just fine. It's probably gonna get him. Oh no! Not if he gets staggered. I say he'd probably call him at least one more time. He was, he was going for it. He wanted it. And we finally get some of those tibia skeletons. Tibia summons, by the way, are not, uh, they aren't spirit ashes, or an ash of war for that matter. It's a spell. Uh, and it's a spell that does the exact same thing as the ash of war on Rosas's axe does. Which means the damage output is potentially high, but it is hard to hit with, especially against anything that is even slightly mobile. Let's head back down here now. Is this still water or see the water? I can't remember. I believe I called it still water earlier, but I don't know if that is the actual name. Then we want to avoid what I guess are geothermal vents. Yeah, that makes sense. This is all by a by Mount Gelmir, which is a volcano. Just don't want to get one shotted by them. Also, the AOE is slightly larger than the visual effect can cause a lot of problems. I don't know if we have any bad luck with the Basilisks. Come out of the goddamn ground, man! Hmm. If I didn't clear him, they're gonna try to petrify me while I... Uh-oh. Nope. Come on. Come on over. While I open the cave up. I just want to step inside so I can grab the Sight of Grace for when I come back later. This is not a terribly important side case. See the water! There we are. It is see the water. Not a terribly important cave. Nothing, nothing notable in it. So it's relegated to a uh, cleanup status for later. And we have a more important mission to get going on.
Burba. Playing with fire, pun intended, I guess. There was no need to do that. I'll just take a rest right here, real quick. Not even a rest. We're still pretty healthy on our resources. And we're gonna want to outrun the flame chariots. This was the site of an enormous battle. And another fort. Oh, this is where Godric's soldiers are still fighting. Let me just try my luck on one of these real quick. I love their armor set. Oh, come on. Come on, be the chess piece. Yeah! Oh, I really love the look of that chess piece, too. I'm so happy. Whoop! I was not gonna be thrilled if I got shotgun to the face with an ignite. And a graveyard full of spir a spirit jellyfish. Okay, that replaces the stone sword key we just used just now on the on the Seathwater Cave opening. And that's my main point of interest right now. I am so hello, 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 hello. hello? Oh, okay. some of you all. And my horse becoming crazy confused by being on fire. Don't blame him. We want to move beyond the battlefield, though. Just past here, there is another lake of lava. And a another magma worm. Round two, didn't expect to need one, but here we are. Are you gonna do another one like the uh, last magma worm we fought? Sure are. And you're gonna be really annoying by this by going out into the lava. Make me wait for you to come back. Don't do a third one. Thank you. Ow, God. His lava hurts. The lava behind him that he crawled out of. Not so bad. It's just, I don't want to be in that position. To be taking a bunch of rapid chip damage. If I don't have to fight him there, why bother? It's like inviting catastrophe. Just because it's weak, baby, Elden Ring lava doesn't mean that it can't cause a problem for you at a really inopportune time. Oh yeah, here we go. I don't think we've actually gotten to see one of them uh, rear up on its hind legs yet and do this. <laughs> oh, they're pretty cool. The camera decides to play nice. <laughs> Great enemy fell. Was it really? 
new Draconic power is available. Yeah, I think that that one is Magma Shot. And remember the message from Alexander? Here he is! Ah, good sir. What business might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame, considering that is the fleshly form of yours. Your timing, though, is as impeccable as ever. I've been making just the thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it will suit you for tea. more than lukewarm here. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught with. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying. Above the lofty clouds. Alright, well that's gonna do it for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good night, y'all.